I am Matthew James Grover. I am a sophomore at OSU. I don't wear Superman shirts and Batman shirts all the time, but I do wear them occasionally. If I need to dress to impress, I know how to. I'm a cradle Catholic, but I never really understood my Catholic faith growing up. I just kind of went through the motions. I saw it kind of as like school. Growing up in public school was, I mean, probably not the best. It was hard for me to talk to my friends about my faith because none of them were Catholic. None of them even ever talked to, about church at all. I didn't know if they went to church either. Like I always had questions, but I didn't really ask because I was just scared to for some reason. Growing up in these public schools, I always tried to be the popular kid. I always tried to be the cool kid who everyone liked, who wanted to go to parties or whatever. Finally, when I was starting to get like all the quote unquote popular kids to like me and started to hang out with them, my parents kind of just turned, the, turned my world upside down saying, you're going to Catholic school next year. It just hit me like a bomb and I didn't know how to react to it. I was just freaking out. I was throwing a temper tantrum about it. And the first few weeks, I didn't know anyone. I didn't have any friends there, partially because I didn't want to make any friends because I missed all my old friends. I started to make more and more friends without even trying, just because I could actually talk to them about real things. I could talk to them about my faith. I could talk to them about any questions I had about Jesus or God or anything like that without being afraid of being judged. Because being at a Catholic school, a lot of them had the same questions I did and they wanted their questions answered just like I did. It just felt home. It felt like home because I was finally okay with being myself. I didn't have to hide all my quirky, nerdy stuff from all my friends because they didn't care. They accepted me for who I was and didn't want me to change anything about me. Going to Catholic school was when I really started to become myself instead of just another face in the crowd. While I was there, I just started gradually opening up gradually getting closer to God throughout the classes, throughout just praying more often. And I remember one day, sophomore year, I was just sitting in Mass, and I remember thinking, huh, we're actually receiving the real body and blood of Christ every time we receive the Eucharist. At realization my sophomore year in Mass, was when I really started to get much closer to God, started having a real relationship with Him and with Jesus. That's when I started to be truly happy and at peace. After my sophomore year, I worked at a camp called Camp Olog, and that place is one of the most important places to me because that's where I feel closest to God. We did this living stations thing for Stations of the Cross, and it was kind of cloudy, but you, it was still pretty bright outside. It didn't look like it was about to start raining or anything, but I remember as soon as Jesus died on the cross during that stations, it just started sprinkling. Like not, it wasn't a torrential downpour or anything, it was just a very peaceful rain, and that's when all of my doubts whether or not God existed just went away. That's where I was 100% certain God was there. God cared about me. God had a plan. And that's where I started to really, really open up myself to God and whatever His plan was. I had just graduated a couple weeks before and I was up and rolling at Oklahoma State and all of a sudden I get all these text messages and I was like, what's going on? Because 
50 people, no, it had to have been at least 50 people, were texting me, are you okay? What's happening? What's going on? I was just looking at my phone, getting all these text messages, and like, uh, is there something I should know about? Uh, there was a tornado that went through Moore, Oklahoma, and there were neighborhoods that were just completely decimated. So I tried to call my dad, I tried to call my mom, I tried to call my house phone, everything. There was no response or anything, and I was just getting terrified. And finally I called my brother, who was down in Oklahoma City, and he drove down to as close as he could. They wouldn't let anyone go in the neighborhood. He finally called me, and I remember I was at dinner, still worried about what was going on. He's like, okay. The house is still standing, but your room is missing half of it. Half of your stuff flew out the window, and your corner of the house is what got hit the most. When I heard all this news, that's when my faith just started to dip. I didn't know why God would do this to me. I, was, I had been praying every night. I had been going to Mass every Sunday and actually paying attention and not just sitting there. I had lost the only home I had ever known. In the subsequent days and weeks and even months, I just saw support like I've never seen support before. I was seeing like pictures of uh, people from Europe and Australia holding up signs like, More Oklahoma, we're praying for you. People will come together, people will unite, people will stick together. And it showed me that people are just good. And I started to feel at peace. And I got to see throughout my life, with all these hardships, all this just unknowing, that people, all of my friends will have my back. And more importantly, Jesus has my back. I've always been taught that God is love, and love leads to happiness. And if I had any advice to give to the younger me, it's, you're not alone. You have your friends, you have your family, and more importantly, you have Jesus Christ on your side all the time. My favorite thing about being Catholic is the community. It's just the community, the family-like atmosphere of just everyone Catholic. And I, I love it. My name is Matt Grover and I'm Catholic.